it's okay to choose you. It's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. No, the sun is not shining here in Chicago, but we can create sunshine in our minds. At least that's what I'm going to have to do on this gray day. That's what we're calling it, the gray day. I heard we're going to get some pretty interesting weather this afternoon. So, yes, we're going to enjoy it while we can. Um, okay, so it looks like we have some people that are watching, which is exciting. If you are here, just let me know that you're here by giving me a thumbs up. Um, quickly jumping on to say that I'm excited that you're here. Thank you so much. Hi, Desiree. How are you? I miss you. Um, so I wanted to, hi, Destry. Miss you too. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Tuesday afternoon. Hello, Ms. Holmes. Um, and I just want to say that, you know, it's okay to choose you. It's so much going on in the world today, and we have all these expectations that are put on us by other people, by ourselves, by the job, uh, you name it. It's just so much that are put on us um, as individuals, as parents, at the job. I mean, just pressure. So much pressure. Uh, there's pressure to stay in unhealthy relationships, which is what I want to talk to you guys today about. There's pressure to stay in unhealthy friendships, which... It's running rampant right now, so I just want to say it's okay to choose you. Uh, you know, as we get older, we go through some things and we experience some things. And I don't, and I keep saying getting older because I'm getting older. But what I really want to say is, as you go through some experiences, you tend to hopefully learn better. And when you learn better, you're supposed to do better, right? That's kind of how that works. So in choosing you, you're saying, "I'm going to let this go." Now, letting go doesn't mean that you don't care. It doesn't mean that you stop caring. It doesn't mean that you don't have feelings about the thing that you're letting go. It just means I'm choosing me. Because whatever it is that I'm letting go of, I value me more. And if you pay attention to the other people that are doing what they're doing, you know, they, they may not regard your feelings as well as you regard your feelings. Or they may not choose you as often as you should be choosing you. So when it gets right down to it, I just wanted to just kind of say... It's okay to choose you. It's okay to walk away from anything that is no longer serving you, filling you, um, helping you get to the next level mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is that, that you kind of need to do for you. It's okay to choose you. You know, we've been taught that, you know, you're supposed to do this and be this and give to others. But what about you? Aren't you forgetting about you and aren't you, you know, survival of the fittest is what my mom used to tell me growing up. And, you know, we kind of were made to feel guilty about that. Why should we feel guilty about choosing us when it comes to your, your career or whatever, or as, as opposed to a relationship? Do you choose you or do you choose the relationship? You know, why can't you choose you in the relationship and say, okay, you know, it's what's working for me. So why can't I have this too? So choosing you and letting go doesn't necessarily mean that you give up the very thing that you have. It just means I matter more. And I don't know if you notice that when you matter more to yourself, other people value you more in the process. So it, it's kind of important that, you know, you understand your, your worth. Is what I'm really trying to say when you walk in, run in, jog in, you know, skip in, in your worth, you tend to not... I won't say not care as much, but you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't care as much about how other people think about you, how other people perceive you. And, you know, I, I say this often when you know your worth and you know what you bring to the table, you tend to not, Hey, how are you? Thank you guys for joining me. For those that just popped on, uh, you tend to value your worth more. And when you value what you have and what you're bringing to the table, you can kind of eat alone and be okay with eating alone. You can go to the grocery store and shop alone. You know what I mean? You can take yourself out to eat. You can date yourself. You can enjoy your own company. For those that don't really enjoy their own company and have a hard time and struggle with other people, it's because they're not monitoring and paying attention. Hey, Miss Stephanie, how you doing? Uh, we're not paying attention to us and what our worth is like. And that's when you choose you, when you value you more, when you value what you bring to the table, when you value what you bring to a friendship, when you value what you bring to a marriage, when you value what you bring to a job. I mean, all of this is across the board about knowing your worth and what you bring to the table. And it's okay to walk away from anything that doesn't serve you, um, which, which can be hard for some people. I'm not saying that it's not hard, but... When you take on the role of, I value me, my health, my sanity, my strength, my peace, 
uh, you tend to, hey, Miss Keisha, how you doing? I love your haircut. Uh, but yeah, when you value you more, man, listen, let me tell you. What someone else has to say about you, how someone else feels about you, how someone else thinks about you, none of that matters because you value you in the process and you care less about getting along than getting along. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to fit in because I was born to stand out. I don't need to get along because I'm going along at my own pace. There's so many things that, that just can come along with knowing your worth and and being valued, you know, uh, because if you don't value yourself and, you know, I'll be the first to say it, 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 this is something for years. I was definitely the person that did everything for everybody and gave everything to everybody and kind of left myself out in the process. And it wasn't until my cup was completely empty and, you know, nobody else was trying to fill it up. And I was going places trying to get the cup filled that I realized that it's OK to walk away from anything that doesn't serve me. Hey, Tanya, how you doing? Uh, and so how do you walk away? You walk away uh, with the thought of knowing that if you've done your absolute very, very best in any situation, in any, sorry, I have a uh, medical truck, an ambulance passing by, sorry for the loud noise, but if you don't value you and, and, and you feel like you need to walk away from a thing that's not serving you, not filling you, not building you up, not lifting you up, not creating the foundation that you need to become a better person, even if that person is you, because some of us are toxic to ourselves. If we really want to be the truth, we self-sabotage, uh, you know, we do everything so that we can't be the best that we were supposed to be or who God called us to be by simply being afraid. Because letting go is fear and we can't be fearful of what is meant for you and what's meant for you means that sometimes you got to walk away from folks that are bringing you down uh, and those people can be family they could be friends they could be husbands wives sister brother uncle aunties even your kids you know and and when I say walk away when I say let go I mean letting them know that you can no longer do it for them anymore because you got to take time out for you and if you don't see it now, you'll see it later because here's one thing I do know. Your kids will grow up and leave you, meaning they're going to go off and do their own thing. And then what will you have? Uh, your husband or your wife, if they have anything going on in their own lives, they have their own things that they're going to be doing. So what do you have? What are you clinging to? What are you hanging on to? What are you doing that's making you feel the way that you're feeling? So yes, absolutely. Uh, it's okay to walk away from anything that's not serving you. Anything that's not doing you well do and I use analogy lot of everything that's happened to me including all the surgeries um me cutting my hair off all of that was being what everybody else needs instead of being what I need to be for me. So you know as I turned over as kids I have to give um, because I need to get me I was okay so that I could be here, you know, for the long haul, so that I could be here for me. Because there's nothing like looking around for somebody to be f there for you and you've been there for everybody else and there's nobody, like like nobody, nobody to help you with the groceries, nobody to help you pick up the pieces because sometimes, let's be honest, the pieces fall apart. Now, I don't know about anybody else's life, maybe I'm just speaking from my life, but sometimes pieces fall all the way apart. Like you drop a glass and it shatters everywhere. Sometimes life is like that. And if you don't have a good group of ships in your life and what i mean by ships are relationships friendships family ships partnerships uh if you don't have a good group of ships in your life you are gonna find out what being alone really is like and then all of those people places and things that you thought was gonna be a part of your ongoing process your futuristic process you're gonna realize oh they're not really there for me in a way that i've been there for them so maybe i need to reevaluate letting them go because if you don't understand how much you matter, you can't fulfill your purpose. And I know it sounds crazy, but if you're not doing what you're gifted to do, meaning what God gifted you to do, what you were put here on earth to do, then you're kind of wasting time. And I talked about this in the seminar that I taught on Saturday. You're either wasting time, killing time, spending time, or doing something else with your time that's not really deserving of who you are as a being. You know, uh, we're supposed to smell the flowers while we're living. We're supposed to enjoy life while we're living. You don't have to break out the good china just for special occasions. We should be able to break out our good china just because we're worthy of the good china. Why can't I eat off good china? Why can't I buy myself flowers now? Anything that does not serve you, anything that does not bring you joy and you fulfillment, figure out how to go because life is too short. 
And people are having heart attacks. People are dying. People are suffering from diseases where, you know, they're at a disease. And, you know, I'm a firm believer that stress will kill you. The job will kill you. Life will kill you. Worrying about stuff will kill you. And, I, and, and, and I've been there. So why not choose you? Yes, you can let him, her, it, that, this go when you think about how much you matter more. And, you know, I, my friends that know me, they, they will tell you, yes, I, I'm a life or die, life, life or death kind of girl. So either you're trying to further my stuff along or you're trying to kill me. You know, it really is just that simple. And once you look at people, places and things that are trying to kill you, you're like, you know what? Let me rethink this thing because in a freak accident, in a slip of nature, in just in the world that is crazy right now, you can turn around and be here and gone the next minute. So let it go. If it is, it is, and it's okay. And and here's what's funny. You don't owe anybody an explanation as to why you letting it go. You don't. Because you're going to lose some people in the process of letting it go because they're not understand the fact that you've changed and you want to do something different and you're going to do something no won't even matter shaka won't matter at all not in the grand scheme of things you know i look at life and i'm trying to build a career i don't have time to let little nothing things anymore get in the way and stress me out and take me places where i'm not trying to go it, why the reality is everything that you're worried about and stressed about yesterday probably won't even matter tomorrow so let that go the people that aren't really uplifting you and building you up mentally from, from a mental, physical, and like a emotional standpoint, what are we hanging on to them for? Trying to be in a circle or, you know, trying to be with this click or trying to be with that click. I remember when I decided that I was going to, um, I went through a thing because I wasn't on the red carpet anymore. And I was like, wow, you know, I used to be this person when I was with these people. But the reality is you are who God called you to be. You are who you are made to be. And you don't always need a bunch of folks with you to validate who you are, where you're going and who you're supposed to be. And sometimes think about this. Sometimes God won't bless you with what he has for you because you wrapped up and connected to some people that you ain't supposed to be wrapped up and connected to. He can't bless you with a husband because you're still hanging around messy folks. He can't bless you with a wife because you're too busy sleeping with Teresa, Shanika, Valisa, and Dawn. So when you talk about letting things go, sometimes it's not about what you want to let it go. Let go. It's sometimes about what you need to let go of so that you can be blessed with the things that you were meant to have. And it just took me such a long time to say that and, and it's to, to believe that and to kind of like visualize that in my life. And I think I had to hit rock bottom in order to see what that was like. You know, people look at, at your life on the outside looking in, especially on the book of faith. And they want to tell you, oh, you look like you're fine. And you look like you live in a life of extra luxury and all this other kind of thing. And call that person and see how they're doing. Pick up the phone and say, hey, you need anything? Uh, you know, I don't know if you're going through anything or not, but what's going on? And can I help you? And do we need to go out to lunch? Do we need to schedule girls? Can I come over and bring you something? Can I buy you some flowers? Or better yet, just do it. Don't ask. Just do it. Send that person a note saying, you know, I'm thinking about you and... Um, you were on my mind today because, see, you can try and act like you don't have that intuition if you want to. But I know it's there and I know it's there for a reason. So if we get out of our feelings enough, we could actually sense and see what's going on with our friends if they're supposedly our real friends. And we can get outside of ourselves and say, you know what? I got this. But all of that evolves around being OK with letting some stuff go. And we don't want to let it go because... We're afraid of how we're going to be looked at. We're afraid of how people are going to see us. We're afraid of not fitting in. We're afraid of, oh, if I don't have the latest this or the latest that, um, I'm going to feel some kind of way. Or better yet, other people are going to feel some kind of way. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you in a heartbeat, I am the, thr the thrift store shopping queen. Absolutely. But that's because that's what works for me. And until you understand, fall in love, roll in love, and just be all in love with you, flaws and all, you're going to constantly keep carrying stuff to try and please other folks. And I gave a friend of mine that I was coaching an exercise once. And I said, hey, why don't you go home and put on all the clothes in your house, meaning all the jackets, coats, hats, scarves that you can fit on. And then I want you to, you know, just kind of sit around in that. 
and they were like, wow, I'm going to be really hot. Yes. Let me tell you some other things that's going to happen. You're going to kind of lose circulation. And then you're going to kind of start wobbling around because you've lost circulation. Now you're hot. Now you're sweating because you are picking up stuff and carrying stuff that don't even belong to you. Don't, don't belong to you. It's other people's stuff. And we are good for that. And we're carrying it. We heart attacking out. We stroking out over somebody else's stuff. I don't want it anymore. You can take that with you on your way back out the door when you leave. I'll listen to your problems. I'll help you with your problems. But I am not going to carry your problems. And as those people who have a hard time letting go, that's what we do. We pick up other folks' stuff and we carry it and we try and fix it. And it ain't for you to fix. Because truth be told, some of us really don't want to change. We just want to complain about our situation and how we got there and who going to have a pity party with us. Because you do know. That you know which friends to call that's going to pity party with you. You know what I mean? Like you got some friends that you can call that's going to just straight pity party with you. You got some friends that's calling you snapping. They're going to straight snap off with you. And then you got some friends and, and relationships too. I don't want to just use friendships. And then they just going to get you right, right, right together. Now boo, you wrong. Or now boo, I'm going to let you have this moment. But you know, when you finish, I'm going to need you to plan B is because you can't stay here. So when you talk about you know, it's okay to walk away and it's okay to let go and it's okay to be you. In order to do all that, you got to fall in love with you first. And some of us don't really like ourselves very much. So we be what other people need us to be because it's easier for us to deal with them or the way people think we are than to deal with us as we are. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some think you mean. Absolutely. You ain't... It is people straight dropping dead because they are so busy trying to please other people. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. My garbage has enough garbage for Yes, Felicia, absolutely. Take yours with you. Bye. I don't need it. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think if more people felt that way about their garbage, felt that way about their lives, felt that way about their love for self, we wouldn't have as much mess as we have going on out here because we got mess to the left, mess to the right, mess in front of us, and we just tiptoeing all around the garbage in front of us. And why? Because we're too busy trying to please other people instead of pleasing ourselves, instead of saying, you know what, this is not serving me. Do you understand what I mean by this is not serving me? As doers, thinkers, believers, and beers in this world, we're here to serve. Serve in the aspect of whatever it is that God has a, a higher purpose for us to do and be. But you can't be a servant of others if all you're serving is people who are on BS. BS. I don't need somebody to tell me what they got for me. I need somebody to tell me how you can be there for me because I'm going to be there for you. Yes, your, what, your, your mask ends up wearing a mask. But yes, and I know a couple people with several different masks that match with their outfits, coordinate the whole nine. And I'm not just talking about women. I'm talking about men too. So you got all of this going on in the world with everything else that's going on in the world. And, you know, my business name is Making Love Better Together, but it's Making Love Better Together for a reason. Because it's not just going to be me that's going to help pull this thing together. It's going to be Nisi. It's going to be Desiree. It's going to be Passion. It's going to be um, Felicia. It's going to be Kimberly. It's going to be all of us. Coming to the and saying, no, this not working for me. No, you cheating on me is unacceptable. No, you telling me off because you felt the need to. That's unacceptable. And until we put our feet down and say, you know what? I deserve better. We're not going to get better. We're just not going to get better. And, you know, I talked about this in a seminar. I said, you know, we're good drawing lines in the sand. Like, you know, if you do this, then I'm done. Or if you cross this line, then I'm done. And if you don't do what I say, then we're done. And then you move that line right out the way when the sex is good. Or when somebody's filling your head and telling you the lies that you want to hear. Or when it looks good on paper. But in reality, now you're just a liar. Because now you're willing to accept anything that's going to feed the very thing that you're disconnected from. So... Again, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to stay on here long. As you can see, I'm working today. And um, I just wanted to say it's okay to say no. It's okay to say I'll pass. It's okay to say I'm good. Um, because sometimes we need to say no in order to get our yes. You know what I mean? Like, like no, I'm good. I love coffee. Love coffee. Everybody that knows me knows I love coffee. But I know it's only a certain amount of cups of coffee that I can drink a day before I'm on coffee overload. 
So at some point you have to step away and push away from the coffee table because you've had your share of coffee for the day. Life is really that simple. If you've had your fair share of getting screwed over, passed over, messed over, maybe you need to step back and see what your role is in all of this that's occurring. Maybe there are some things that you need to change. And we good for saying, boo, this just how I am. Well, I'm saying, yes, sometimes you have to say no to get your yes. And yes, yeah, sometimes that is you. But how far is you getting you? You know, sometimes you are the one that needs to change. Sometimes you are the one that needs to step outside yourself and look at you and do some things different. My wake up call was learning to say no, because I was a yes woman for a long time. You needed it. I had it. You got it. If I didn't have it, I'd figure out a way to get it or I'd figure out a way or how we can both get it together. And at some point I just was like, no, uh -uh. sorry, psych, can't do it. And that's what worked for me. Because I want my yes. I want to be excited about the person that's going to enter my life. I want to be excited about my passion, my purpose, my job. I want to be excited about when I help somebody and it's not because I want something on the back end. I want to be able to help them and say, that person needed my help and I'm done with it. I don't need to say anything else about it. Because you do know that real bad boys move in silence, right? Because you're doing something for somebody. You don't have to announce it. You don't have to brag about it. You don't have to tell anybody about it. You just show up and you do it and then you walk away. You don't need to brag that you help somebody pay their rent. For what? That's not where your blessing come in at. You don't get the blessing because you're bragging about it. You get the blessing because you did it and nobody knows that you did it. So, I'm not on a soapbox. <laughs> not on a soapbox at all. I just really wanted to come on here and say it's okay to walk away from anything that does not serve you. It is okay to walk away from anything that is not going to make you a better person. Because we're all trying to be better people, right? I'm trying to be a better person. Uh, I've become quite the cusser. So I'm trying to be better with that. Kind of. Kind of. So thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. And, you know, if you have a comment or a question or if there's a topic that you'd like for me to talk about via Facebook Live, please do so. But again, as I said before, it is going to take all of us coming together collectively to restore this balance to this thing called love because it's out of whack and I'm not talking about just relationship love I'm talking about, social love. I'm talking about family love I'm talking about us just coming together in love so much you praying away for the custom problem too yes 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 so be better people because and, and I'm gonna leave you with this I promise you I am the thing about us being better is somebody else is depending on us and you don't even know who that person is but they can't get their blessing because they wait on you have your breakthrough to bless them with their breakthrough so with that being said, I have to pick up my client. You all have a wonderful afternoon and have a blessed day. Thank you.